good day and welcome back to elementary 72 gaming now we are back again with attack on titan now attack on titan episode 9 starts off with a quick recap on the entire situation we are told that the losses of the combined force to help the evacuation process of this uh, city that had just been evacuated um, was an insurmountable amount of soldiers so they really lost a massive amount of soldiers namely because they were missing the scout regiment who had departed on an excursion earlier that day now at that point we get a recap back in time we see commander Irvin, the leader of the scout regiment moving out his regiment to go and claim more land and we get a definition of the function of the scout regiment their duty is to set up outposts outside of the wall so that people have a route to travel and move to in case of emergencies so basically what they are trying to do is they're trying to capture more land they're trying to expand the amount of space that they have as a unit so they move out into new regions and they try and barricade off the titans from getting access to them so that is their primary function the next thing that we get a hint on is how they function. So we find that there's Commander Levi and immediately what we get told from the crowd is he is equal to an entire brigade on his own. So we know that he is a phenomenally powerful individual similar to Mikaza at the very least. So we know that he can go about and slay enemies like no man's business. The next person we get introduced to is Hanji and we find that she is eccentric, she is a bit crazy and she has really dangerous thoughts in terms of what she wants to experience. And that is exactly where we leave off as they depart from the city. Then we go through the entire process of them moving forward into another long lost territory from the city and we see them fighting in there with an individual being munched down. At this point, this individual starts making a last um, a, a last statement, uh, a rebuttal of sorts against the Titan who is chewing on his body, which is literally breaking him in half at that moment. And as this Titan is chewing on him, Captain Levi shoots an anchor right across and takes out the nape of the monster. So that is what we get from Levi at that point in the story. We now have enough to say that we've progressed to this point of the entire situation where, uh, let's see, how do we explain this? Uh, where they actually have killed the Titan and the soldier is dying on the floor and we hear Levi's comforting words at the end of it. He vows to kill all the Titans, to be rid of them and that is his oath, that is his duty that he has assigned to himself at this very point we also get to see the rest of the regiment and how much of faith they put into levi at this point commander Irvin says uh, we need to fall back and levi says you know very well we can keep pushing forward my men didn't die to pave a retreat and then captain uh, commander Irvin, sorry explains the situation that this titans heading towards the wall and now he's saying it reminds him of what happened previously with the Shaganshina incident. At this point they immediately move out, they're heading towards the city. So basically they're falling into a backwards uh, reinforcement role, they're going to have to cut through enemy ranks and then enter the city. So they're hoping for some sort of tactical advantage when it comes to fighting off the enemy. Now, from this year, we then get slapped right back into the city inside Warm Area, where we have everybody um, forming outside of trust. And the first thing that we notice is the cadets are talking to each other in a very morbid, morbid tone. And we get uh, a certain regiment talking through saying they were actually thinking of getting um, gas and jumping in to go help the regiment that was in front but they were overwhelmed and there was no way they could do it they don't understand how they actually escaped so this whole story starts happening on that side and they get to see that that last group who came through who were basically 
supposedly going to be dead already uh, are sitting there and they're all extremely traumatized and they were ex- they were asking about their key members Mikaza and you know the really strong members and when they find out that the strong members came through on the last group with the John they go in the ash on and John says the military pol- the military has slapped us with the gag order we're not allowed to tell you what happened at this point everybody is shocked why is there a gag order what in the world happened on the other side of the war and at this point everybody starts uh, trying to figure things out in their head basically and we swap over to what really happened so jean uh, mikaza armen aaron and then we get raina uh, bertold and annie came over the wall together in a single cart and then they were f- uh, confronted by wall rose guards or the wall guard and they literally took the three who wouldn't leave at once and told them that they must stand down they're going to kill Aaron and Armen and Mikaza defended him immediately moving on from this point we then get to see that they're in a very precarious situation and Aaron is out of it he is saying things which are so weird and uh kill them all with my bare hands he is just giving off random statements as he's coming out of his delirium remember that he was literally in a point near death before he first transformed into a titan so he is in the stellaria state and as he's saying all of this he realizes that the army is actually all focused on him with cannons focused on him and they're asking him what are you titan or human and he is so confused by it he doesn't even understand what's going on while armen and mikaza are having an argument as to whether or not they should defend him and he is even more confused right now because he doesn't realize that he transformed into a titan at this point we get a quick flashback to what happened to aaron we see that when he saved armen and he was inside the belly of that titan he started to rage out with the world to destroy them and that is how he transformed he burst his hand through the nape of the titan and he burst out of the belly of the titan in full form because he was that angry that frustrated with the situation and there was the motivation he needed to transform so we get that for that first transformation as soon as this is done aaron finally figures out he's going to answer he is human and when he answers he is human the commander of this uh, little regiment around the wall initiates a fire order to shoot him with a cannon Aaron instinctively bites his arm and immediately he forms a half form titan armor shell basically it's just a skeleton with a little bit of flesh that deflects the shot from the cannon and it's at this point that the episode actually ends as Aaron drops back into his friends so that is where episode 9 ends and you will be catching the next one in the follow up video as it comes out now there is a quick warning These videos will be scheduled for the second part generally as a 2 o'clock release but they are going to be phasing out and in a little bit because I have had a tough time with setting up the PC. So thank you all for watching. Have a good day.